Hello, this is Brandon, and today is Wednesday, uh, September 13th. Um, we're back from the big, big road trip. It's a 31-day road trip. We went 6,434 miles, um, so it was pretty awesome. It was a lot of work and a lot of expense. Um, but we also got to see and do a lot of really neat things. Um, so I definitely would recommend it to those of you with families. Um, take a road trip. Don't try to do a 31-day road trip, but uh, maybe a week or two. Um, anyway, been back since last week. Um, started you know, getting back into the trading thing on Tuesday. Um, patient trader uh, had his room open. Uh, it's not open to the general public yet, um, but it's open to um, a select few of us, uh, basically friends from Skype, um, and we're kind of the guinea pigs and the beta testers for his trading room, and um, not a lot of uh, not a lot of trades going on last week. Um, and this week he's had some issues, <laughs> big plumbing issue um, at his house uh, in Long Island. Um, some kind of uh, sewer line, main line breakage, and just uh, an insane mess. He had to spend something like seven thousand dollars to um, get that repaired yesterday and today. So been kind of just doing it on my own um, so as far as the the strategy uh, with patient trader um, what we're doing is just basically trading with the trend um, and this is a good example I've, I, I'm showing uh, one trade here this is gold um, and this is a Renko chart um, these are some proprietary um, curves here. I think this is just a standard 144 uh, EMA, but these two curves are not standard EMAs. Um, they're similar, but I, I honestly I don't really know exactly what they are. Um, we have uh, another trader who's been helping a uh, patient with some of the technical aspects. This platform is actually Sierra charts um, and patient trader uses ninja 7 um, I'm not using ninja trader um, I'm using Sierra charts now because it's the it's a free platform that I can get through my broker and uh, it has the type of Ranko this is called a flex Ranko I don't honestly really know what that means um, but I know that this chart and these indicators um, which were given to me by that uh, technical person or person that's helping um, patient trader with the technical aspects uh, he gave me the setup here on Sierra charts um, and it's not exactly the same but it, it fits the need um, and, and it's similar enough to the chart that patient is seeing um, so <clears throat> the idea is pretty simple um, you're you're waiting for a clearly trending market as you can see very easily here you're looking for the these these are called clouds this is the soft cloud and I guess the hard cloud I don't know but anyway you're looking for kind of everything going in the same direction um, and this is the midline here and this is the soft cloud or the soft edge um, and so and there's some other rules that go into it but basically you're looking for a good trend and here's a good example so we have a, a good move down we have a trend that's starting um, we have a pullback here to the soft edge and a reversal and so that's a signal that goes short um, and with gold we're going for eight ticks um, so basically four candles, two, three, four, and you're good there. Um, 
And then this is uh, what we would call a reset where price came back to the midline uh, or if it comes back to these um, dots. I think these are just a simple ATR. Uh, patient trader is using something more, slightly more elaborate. I'm not sure exactly what he's using, but anyway, price comes back to the midline or to the dots and then, and then uh, resumes the trend. Um, so you can take that as an entry, and then here's another pullback to the soft edge. After the resumption of the trend, it pulls back. There's a reversal candle. You can go short there. Um, keep your stop pretty wide and go for the eight ticks. Um, and when it comes back to the dots or the midline or the what we call the hard edge, um, we consider that a reset. So <clears throat> you've got some trending and you have a little bit of consolidation here and you get a, a clear bounce off of the midline and the trend resumes. So that's what we're calling a reset. And then I took this um, setup here. This was a pullback to the soft cloud and then a reversal candle. Um, so I went short there and took an eight tick profit. So that's how we're doing it, um, and uh, you know we're continuing to kind of test out the room for patient trader as he gets more and more comfortable trading in front of an audience. Which um, those of you who've done that know how stressful and difficult it can be. So it's definitely. Uh, exercising a muscle that he hasn't exercised in the past so it's kind of what's going on right now he's kind of getting used to the feel of trading in front of audience um, dealing with questions um, you know narrating what's going on what he's doing what he's thinking there's not a whole lot of discretion that goes into this um, strategy there there is an element of discretion having to do with price action um, for example you can have all the clouds in the right order let's I'm gonna pause it and I'll look at NQ real quick okay so this is a good example of discretion and of looking at the overall picture the bigger picture of price action and what's going on and uh, using that to skip some of your setups so the example I'm thinking of is is right after this. So this is quite clearly a very choppy um, area of price action. And then you get this move down and notice the clouds are lined up. Everything's pointing down. You get a touch here of the soft edge and a reversal candle. But this is not a good... Uh, not a good place to go short and that's because of the price action beforehand and it's still being a, a very um, choppy time to you know for the market so um, that would be a setup where you know it follows the rules the setup is correct everything's in order but you don't want to take that trade and that uh, helps you avoid some of the losing trades that you might see so that's what's going on uh, I'm not sure how much longer we're gonna be in this uh, beta test like phase of, of his trading room um, and uh, I don't know I mean don't I don't know any of the details of how much it's gonna cost it's not costing any of us uh, that are in the room at the moment it's not costing us anything because we're all just kind of testing out for it for him and he's getting you know getting the feel of uh, running a trade room um, and so nobody's spending any money right now other than patient trader to to get the um, go to webinar or whatever it is that we're using um, Citrix or I, I can't remember what it is but anyway he's paying a small fee to get that live room for us um, but uh, yeah, so I don't know how much it's going to cost. I don't know when, when exactly he's going to take it public, so to speak. Um, but just stay tuned, and I'll continue to update you.
So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there will be more to come, um, and uh, I'll continue to show you some of my trades um, and talk a little bit more about the strategy. So hope everybody enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.